With Urzikstan, we have these phases of map development where it's almost like the progress just kind of jumps out at you. Yeah. And it's like, look how far we've come. Did you have any moments like that? I think the biggest turning point for me, we hit that balance of density versus openness that we could support these different game styles. You can learn the map, you can use zip lines, you can use ascenders, you can find new ways to attack. You can use a train that's now drivable. We finally had those pieces together and we had the Modern Warfare 3 faster movement. We had the slide cancel, we had all those pieces. You want Urzikstan to stand up on its own. And so the second that I had that sort of epiphany, it was just like, yes, we are there. The map development of Urzikstan is so large. It's a massive undertaking from a massive amount of talented people that really care. To start, we have pre-production and that includes where do we want to go? What map do we want to do? How big do we want to make it? What do people really like? You know, we're looking online, we're looking at consumer sentiment, and it kind of just expands from there into our design team. And they're starting to do block out. In the block out portion, how much of it is just core multiplayer learnings? The core MP learnings are something that we use everywhere across the map. So every single building is a little MP map. We follow the rules that we have no more than five to 10 seconds of sprinting without something to do. Yep. We don't want people to go longer than this. And in case people are feeling like the circle's pinching them, that's when we put these in. We have to make sure that each one of them has its own uniqueness. Art direction will give us a concept of them. And we'll take it a step back to level design in gameplay, and then we'll start adding the flavor on it that they want to add. While they're doing that, it's not in a bubble because we also have our art teams creating really amazing concept art. What are some of the things that you need to know before mm -hmm. you start creating all those images and putting them together? Definitely there is a narrative of a story side for Warzone. And then once I got the story, I started to gather the reference based on what kind of narrative it is. So for example, Old Town, we need to make it more historical place, right? So maybe underneath the foundation can be stone bricks. Based on general guide, you can see the brick material underneath. Right. And then they build the top of the building. I had a lot of communication with art direction to make sure that we could see how can we continue this type of art language. How can we push this for the player, right? Yeah. Is this area something that the player can get into? You know, like all the different ways that players can enter and traverse between these buildings. What I love about Urzikstan is that We've had this incredibly creative group of people that are passionate about what they do. I would be totally remiss if I just didn't say thank you, first off, wholeheartedly to everybody that has worked on this map. And I think you're really gonna love it.